אותם. יש עוד מקומות פה ושם באמצע, אז בבקשה. ואחרון שיסגור את הדלת, כי... טוב, ברוכים הבאים כולם. אני באמת מודה לכולם ומעריכה שבאתם אה, להשתתף איתנו בחגיגה הזאת. אה, ואנחנו ברשותכם ננהל את כל המפגש הזה באנגלית. Okay, good morning, everybody. First, I want to thank you all for joining us this morning and welcome our honorary guest, Professor Henry Markram and Professor Richard Farkoviak. Did I say it right? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, and it's, it's a real big uh, privilege and pleasure to have you here with us, and I thank you for that. And I'm still, I must admit, I'm still uh, excited regarding the topic of this special session, special seminar this morning, the Human Brain Project. It is still hard to believe we really did it. Uh, and I'm very happy to share it with you. The Human Brain Project was chosen as one of the two flagship EU uh, projects to be funded for the next 10 years. So, but first, I, I want to uh, thank our host, the Sagol Neuroscience, a School of Neuroscience, and invite Professor Uri Asheri, the head of the school, to give us a, a short address on the school. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's really a great uh, pleasure to host here two of the leading uh, neuroscientists of the Human Brain Project. And before we start, I'll give you a short overview about neuroscience and the Sagol School of Neuroscience. And neuroscience for us as a neuroscientist, I think the main question is to understand how the brain functions. But each one of us is asking the question from different directions. Some of us will be interested to understand how the mechanism of wiring the brain. How, some of us will be interested to understand what are emotions. Some of us will be interested to understand what our memories, where are they stored, and some of us will be interested to understand what goes wrong in brain disorders like schizophrenia and Alzheimer, and how can we cure it. It becomes clear that in order to answer these questions, we need interdisciplinary research. We need people coming from neuroscience, from neurobiology, to understand basic mechanism. We need people coming from psychology to understand or to link behavior to genes. We need people coming from computational neuroscience, exact science, in order to understand brain coding. We need people from engineering to build brain machine interface. We need people from decision, from uh, economic to understand brain decision. And we need people from uh, medical science in order to understand how brain disorders occur and how to cure them. All of these together are building neuroscience. And this is exactly what we are doing in the Sagol School of Neuroscience. The Sagol School of Neuroscience was uh, established in 2011. It is the first and only interdisciplinary school for neuroscience in Israel, and it allows the student to enter as a bachelor a student, start the degree, and then move on to master, PhD, and postdoctoral program. What we are giving is a, a, a academic, multidisciplinary teaching and research in brain science between seven faculties. In addition, the Sagol School of Neuroscience is a, partner, is a partner of the European Neuroscience Campus Network that was established a couple of years ago in Europe. Our two missions are one in education and the other one is research. On the educational level, our aim is to train a new generation of neuroscientists. On the research level, our aim is to foster innovative collaboration among seven TAU faculties and 80 laboratories and to create network between schools and of international institutes and neuroscience industries. So let me tell you a little bit about the educational part and later on about the research part. In Tel Aviv University, we have now four different undergraduate programs. This is a unique combination and unique offer for the students. So the students coming to learn neuroscience can choose between four different disciplines. They can either combine biology and psychology. They can either combine linguistics and biology. They can either combine psychology and computer science or biology and biomedical engineer. 
So the student can basically decide whether he's more interested in cognitive neuroscience, in linguistics, in, in engineering, or in biology, and have the different approaches, a different uh, program to enter. Now, this student, when they finish a uh, bachelor, they continue to a new master and PhD student. We have uh, the interdisciplinary doctoral program for neuroscience for outstanding student, and this is a completely interdisciplinary program. The students in this program are, are doing rotations in different uh, labs, and they can, basically they can bring together ideas and, and information from di two different labs and attack this, uh, a specific question from several directions. This uh, uh, student can later on continue to postdoc program or to uh, a new program that we are now initiating, the Industry Academy uh, 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 program that I will elaborate uh, in a minute. So this uh, student can enroll and do their rotations and project and research in 80 labs, which uh, are uh, sitting in seven faculties across the, the campus. And this is just to give you an idea of the, of the diversity of the, of, the, of the different labs. We have lab coming from uh, uh, neuro neurology, labs for computational neuroscience, lab from neurodegeneration, lab working from computer neuroscience, lab, labs or research uh, labs coming from uh, neurogenetics and many, many other directions. So the student can enroll into in each one of these and basically, basically combine forces from researchers and from mentors coming from different, the different disciplines. Only in the last uh, year and a half, Tel Aviv University has uh, recruited nine new faculty members that entered five different faculties and this uh, um, a new recruit are also affiliated with the schools. And they bring together and they brought new directions coming, starting from the RNA level and memory up to the level of uh, consciousness and decision making, from linguistic to neurovascular, to sleep and consciousness, to addictions, and to genes and, and neurological uh, disorders. So you have only in the last year and a half, very large and, and very good uh, new recruit have been entered at Tel Aviv University at the Segal School of Neuroscience. Now, Tel Aviv University neuroscientists are leading in several directions. I think the main one is the uh, translational neuroscience. There is a lot of activity both in the basic science up to the level of, uh, of the, camp, of the uh, affiliated hospital. We have 17 affiliated hospitals, and that is bringing for a lot of new applications that I will discuss in a minute. Additionally, uh, Tel Aviv University is leading in brain and neuron imaging. We have a center for molecular and cellular imaging in the campus. And we have uh, two or three centers now for brain imaging, one for human in Ichilov, one for uh, uh, animals in the, in the campus, and a new one for, uh, for human MRI is being uh, built in the, in the, these days also in campus. Additionally, Tel Aviv University researchers are uh, really leading in molecular and cellular neuro neuroscience and in behavioral neuroscience, combining researchers both from the zoology department and from psychology department. And this is a, a very a nice combination. Now this uh, highly active uh, translational neuroscience have already brought to very, uh, uh, very uh, important uh, discoveries and application. For example, the, or b before that, there are, you know, I think in each one of the no neurological disorders and, and uh, on neurodegenerative disorders, there are a group of labs which are research or doing re their research. For example, in Alzheimer's disease, there are 11 groups studying Alzheimer's from different directions, starting from basic neuroscience up to applicative neuroscience. Similarly, in schizophrenia, stroke, ALS, Parkinson's disease, MS, mental disorder, Huntington, uh, neurovascular interface, and Rett syndrome, I think in each one of them there are several groups working, investigating from the really the basic level up to the level of uh, apl applicative neuroscience. And this is where I come to the applicative neuroscience already by a, a drug which is already in the market from the lab of Professor Zisapel, uh, circadin for a brain in Sinoma. There are several uh, development of uh, stem cell therapy for ALS by the lab of uh, Professor Melamed and the Professor Offen, together with a company called Brainstorm. There is an activity of, uh, of uh, Professor El Hanin to develop retinal implant for a neurochip together with nano retina. And there are uh, uh, researchers and, 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 dr and, and drugs and therapy developed by Professor Weizmann and Gilad, like BL1020 for treatment of schizophrenia. Similarly, Professor Gozes is developing uh, Dalventing to treat uh, schizophrenia. And there are novel agents against Alzheimer's disease, combination of either antibody development or uh, other stem cell development by Professor Miguel Weil and Professor uh, uh, Becca Solomon. I would like to introduce a new concept of Tel Aviv University, and this is a new link that we are creating now with the industry. We are now offering a, 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 a program which is called Brain Boost. 
And this program is going to bring together industry and academy together in order to foster research in the, in the, in the uh, direction of neuroscience. We are uh, allowing students, both PhD and, and postdoc, to enroll into this program and to combine the advantages of the university or the academy world and the advantages of the industry. And interestingly, there is a growing network of uh, uh, small and big industries which are already working in neuroscience only in Israel. You probably all recognize Teva and IBM, which are the big ones, but there are many small ones like Elmanda, Alpha Omega, Headsense, Brainstorm, Brainsway, which are small companies, startup companies, which are developing either algorithmic or devices or therapeutic in brain science. And we are going to, we have started to create a collaboration to, and to suggest projects that combine the researchers from the university and a, and a company. And we think that this will bring to the, to the, ne to the, really to the next uh, breakthrough. So where are we uh, going from here? Similar to the network that we created with the industry, we are now creating a new network, and this is the Sagol Neuroscience Network that combines several institutes in Israel, like uh, Haifa and uh, Tel Shomer, together with several leading universities uh, abroad, like uh, McGill, MIT, Harvard, uh, Cornell, Columbia universities, in order to really to bring together neuroscientists from the different disciplines, from different countries, from different universities, in order to push forward neuroscience. On the educational level, Sagol Neuroscience is a partner of the ECN, ENC, which is the European Neuroscience Campus Network, which is a, a combination of, a, of a, a academic uh, collaboration between several neuroscience institutes in, in Europe, including uh, Zurich, uh, Göttingen, uh, Cambria, Bordeaux, and other universities, and we are part of it. And I think that if we bring together the advantages of the different universities, the industry, and the, and the clinic together, this will give us the possibility really to develop and find new direction in neuroscience. And I would like to thank you for your attention. And I would like to call Mira again to introduce the speakers. Thank you very much.